and they're off. And Lonro's collection, best away from Desert Isle and going through a strike at Royal for the early lead. And Handy Dynatown settles in behind them now, taking a drop. And up the inside is Wild and Ready into third or fourth spot. And Lonro's collection is the pace setter. Second last is Vivacitas and last is Fashion Brand. They start the run inside the five and a half and coming through, strike it. Royal on the inside to prod for the lead. On the outer, Lonrose Collection. They're two and a half to Desert Isle, racing up in third. Over on the inside is Wild and Ready. The next pair, Vivacitas on the inside, being passed now by Dynatown. And the trailer remains fashion brand. Strike it, Royal at the half mile, ahead in front of Lonrose Collection. Beautifully poised is Desert Isle, just a length and three quarters away in third spot. On the inside is Wild and Ready. Back in the center now, Vivacitas. Around them, Dynatown as they start to come after the top pair. And last is Fashion Brand. They come inside the final two and a half furlongs. Strike at Royal Lonrose Collection, joined by Desert Isle. Desert Isle coming after them with every bound. Back on the inside, Wild and Ready. Jose Ortiz releases the brakes. And Desert Isle has run clear. Desert Isle broke out by a length and a half. Dynatown down the outside and Fashion Brand from last. But it is Desert Isle looking all over a winner at the 16th pole. And a great win for the Gray Motion train. Desert Isle and Jose Ortiz scores by four and a half lengths. Second place of photo, Dynatown on the outside with Strike at Royal the Rail. And then Wild and Ready, 121.05. Great win by Desert Isle, and this with the blinkers on for the Dark Bear Brown three-year-old filly. A breakthrough win by Bernardini from Eye of the Sphinx. Samson Farm is the winning owner and breeder. Graham Motion a winning trainer and winning rider, Jose Ortiz. Samson Farm with first and second place.